Our top story this morning is hope for Veena and Vani, the four-year-old conjoined twins in Hyderabad fading away. Born to daily wage laborers in Andhra Pradesh, the twins have spent most of their lives in hospital. But now Hyderabad's Nilofar Hospital, their latest home, wants them out. Nilofar Hospital, which has kept the babies since last April, has asked the parents to take the twins away today. But the father says he needs more time and help as he is not in a position to take care of the children. Top doctors in the country, including ones from AIMS, say the twins cannot be operated upon in India and, that, and surgery ab abroad is very, very expensive. Soon after their birth, the parents had given away the twins to a hospital in Guntur because they didn't not, did not have the wherewithal to keep them. My wife says. Well, Radhika joins us from Hyderabad uh, with more on that uh, tragic story. Um, Radhika, where really do the twins go if indeed uh, Nilofa Hospital refuses uh, to keep them on any longer? That is the big question, Ankita, that we are trying to find out. In fact, the twins turned four just ten days ago. They have been indeed facing a tough ordeal since the time they have been born. Uh, they share a common blood vessel in their brain matter, which is fused, and that makes it risky to separate them. Top doctors, in fact, had recently come out with a study saying that it is risky for two reasons. One, who should be given the brain, the blood vessel and two, the surgery per se will be very complicated and the chances of mortality is very high either in one or both babies. So that is the reason why Indian doctors had in fact given up and also said that um, in India that kind of infrastructure really not available and at abroad the surgery would cost crores of rupees, something running into about 8 crore rupees according to some reports. But the bigger question now is not just that of physical discomfort for these children, Ankita. The fact that so far it's been four years that they've been born, but they so far do not have something which they can call their permanent home. The parents are laborers in Nalgonda district. NDTV has been speaking with the parents and they say that they already have two other daughters who are about six and five years old and that they do not have that kind of a wherewithal to take them back home to take care of Veena and Vani as well. The father is on his way to the hospital to visit the parents. He says he needs more time and more help. Whereas this hospital, uh, one of the premier, in fact, in the state children's hospital, says that they, they cannot uh, keep them any longer because the children are uh, technically not being medically treated here. In fact, they are just taking shelter here. And that they do not want to deny treatment to any other child who comes. So that is the uh, explanation that this doctor, uh, this hospital gives, just like what Guntur uh, Hospital had given when the children were staying there for about three odd years. So what happens to the children from now and whether the parents will not, will or will not take them back and then who takes the responsibility is the question, Ankita. Radhika, you've been reporting this story for a while. You've been tracking Veena and Vani's uh, fates uh, ever since their parents uh, first really gave them up uh, to the first hospital in Guntur when the Nilofa hospital had stepped in uh, and taken charge uh, of these twins. Uh, had it been apparent at that time that this was only going to be a stopgap arrangement that the hospital might in fact change its mind? Well, Ankita, in fact, senior pediatricians both at Kuntur as well as in Hyderabad have been offering hope to Veena and Vani, saying that they are working towards creating a team of pediatricians, of uh, surgeons as well as um, other uh, psychiatrists who can, in fact, take care of the babies, who can, in fact, work towards a surgery. But the fact that they share a common blood vessel is something which is absolutely risky, according to the doctors, which is why they cannot operate upon them. But the fact that Guntur Hospital had kept them for three days. In fact, uh, uh, a C, uh, a f initial stage of operation has taken place among them, but that again has not had uh, so much headway. But the fact that now there is really no doctor either in Nilofar Hospital or in Hyderabad or in fact in India who is uh, willingly um, saying that he, he will take the responsibility or the fact that there is no NGO or the fact that there is no um, sort of uh, the parents in fact are not willing to say that yes they will take the babies back home is something which is really pathetic at this stage. Radhika, thanks very much for joining us with those details and we are asking you a 